Nohad Halawi learned that in today's Britain, you better not be perceived as having insulted a Muslim at work, because it could ruin your life. Halawi worked in the cosmetics counter in duty-free inside London's Heathrow Airport for 13 years. She was, by all accounts, hardworking and well-liked. But when Halawi ran afoul of her Muslim co-workers, she was effectively fired. I, I didn't say anything wrong. I was complimenting a colleague of mine. Halawi, a Christian from Lebanon, was having a conversation in Arabic with a co-worker and praising a Muslim colleague when it was misinterpreted by another Muslim employee as an insult. We were talking about something else, and then suddenly I said, well, not everyone's like you. You are such an Allawi, I used the word. Allawi means a man of God in Arabic, in any religion. Unbeknown to me, my accuser was standing quite close by, and he just jumped, came right there and started shouting on the shop floor in front of passengers. My colleagues, everyone started telling me, uh, uh, you are insulting Islam. It sounds like a ridiculous claim, but rumors spread among Heathrow's many Muslim employees that Halawi was anti-Muslim, and she was seen as a problem and was eventually fired. Nohat Halawi isn't anti-Muslim. She's married to a Muslim. I've been dismissed because I'm a racist. How embarrassing was that for me? And it was all a total lie. What happened to Nohat was grossly unfair, totally disproportionate. Halawi is being represented by the Christian Legal Center, headed by Andrea Williams. So to be perceived to give offense to Allah, to the Prophet Muhammad, has meant that she lost the job that she'd had for many, many years and been very effective at. Nohat Halawi not only says she was harassed for her faith, what she witnessed at Heathrow Airport should make travelers who use Heathrow Airport nervous. Halawi heard Muslim employees of Heathrow Airport praising the terrorist attacks of 9-11 and Britain's 7-7 attack. She saw Muslims bring the Quran to work. She saw them proselytizing and handing out radical leaflets. And he just walks up to us and he says, if you do not convert to Islam from now before the end of the world, you will go to hell, saying, you know, convert now as well because Islam is taking over. And when the employee was reported, Halawi says he was not fired. This is the same Heathrow Airport which in 2006 saw a foiled plot to smuggle explosives through security and onto American airliners. Financially, Halawi has been ruined. She believes she's unemployable now and has been battling depression. Of course, who's going to give me a job? when everyone knows that I'm a racist. They've just basically ruined our lives. Heathrow Airport declined to comment for this story. But assuming Halawi's story is true, why is Christian Britain allowing the persecution of Christians like Halawi while protecting and boosting Islam? It's extraordinary how the authorities in our country bend over backwards to accommodate Islam. This has been a nationwide phenomenon in Britain for years. I think that there's a sense in which all of these things can only be understood in spiritual terms. And I think in, in Great Britain today, we are in pagan times, we have been handed over and we're blinded. Halawi has not gotten any help from the courts in Britain. Her attorney, Paul Diamond, has appealed to the European Court of Justice in Luxembourg, where it should stand out as a clear case of religious discrimination. Halawi is hoping the European court cares more about the rights of Christians than Britain does. Dale Hurd, CBN News, London.